We have made a grave error. We've arrived in one of the swampiest parts of the country in the heat and we didn't bring bug spray. What's up friends? I am Miranda. This is Miranda in the wild. And in this episode, I am doing seven hikes over seven days covering the entire state of Florida. F Florida. Well, f skeets. I found this article on REI's website, which talks about the seven best day hikes in Florida. So I decided I would just do all of them. This is the biggest road trip that this crew has ever done. I've never been hiking in Florida before. There is a ton of hiking mileage and driving mileage to cover. So let's get started. Also, just like, just, I'm sorry. I just really, just look, just, this is so cool. Yay, hiking. This is my show, gosh darn. I feel like I might, we might have like missed a turn. Yes. Okay, we gotta go back up here. I think this is our turn. All right, here we go. <laughs> this hike that we're doing today basically just loops through the nature preserve. Wow, look at all the palm fronds. I really wanna know what these are. Saw Paul Meadow. In Google, you can take a photo and it'll search it. So I did that and then I found some like that were for sale. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Wow, that is so interesting. All right, saw so Palmetto, now we know. Oh yeah, getting some shade, it feels good. Dude, this is just like completely different. Dude, look. Well, there's these two like massive saw palmettos. I think still a saw palmetto. All right, audience, do I look like Miranda? Do we look related? We do. You look at me and Rainer, don't you think we you look kind really of have, like almost the same exact skin tone and hair color? Yeah. <laughs> look at the pond. There's a pond. Oh, it's so funny. It's it's like very much a swamp. But they call it a, a pond. Swamp life. Swamp city. Swamp life chose me. The coast is like right there, like ahead of me. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, just got cool. Just that noise. You know, the water is so clear. I mean, it's kind of incredible to me that I'm here in short sleeves on a sandy beach in January. <laughs> this seems like a good spot to like stop for water and snacks and stuff. We're gonna try and move kind of quickly through the last couple miles of this hike before we hit the road and have a three and a half hour drive. So we got about another two miles on this and we're gonna move with some purpose. See you soon, beach. Later, beach. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Randy, you wanna touch it? It's back to this is so cool. It's like land coral. Coo coo. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, this next bit's not gonna be very pretty, so we probably won't film some of it. We are Almost done with hike number one. Once we finish that, we're gonna get some lunch and then we have a long drive before we get to hike number two for tomorrow. It's like a, a fork. Another turn and boy, a fork stuck in the road. It's like a weird thing to leave in the middle of the road. That's what the song is saying. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Yeah, so the road forks. And why is the fork stuck there? Yay, we made it. We, at exactly six miles, just finished hike number one. This is only the beginning of this whole week of seven hikes in seven days. So let's grab some food, let's hit the road, and let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are headed out to Dr. G oh, hold on, I'm gonna get it. Dr. Julian G. Bruce St. George Island State Park. Wow. And it's supposed to be a really awesome hike for wildlife viewing and it should be really pretty. 
God, my shoes are just full of sand. This is gonna be all of Florida. The original plan here in St. George Island was to hike all the way out to the end of the spit, um, which would have been a nine mile out and back hike. But I talked to the ranger at the entrance to the park and he told me that there is a three and a half mile loop that goes kind of around the bay. That's supposed to be really beautiful. So now my plan is to do that. I'm still gonna do nine miles. I'm just gonna start with that three and a half mile loop and then get some additional mileage by hiking out on the spit a little bit. Great, all right, let's boogie. Bird watching and interpretive displays. Ah, oh, I love an interpretive trail. Songbirds near tropical. Oh, yellow warbler. I love warblers. Miranda goes birding. Doesn't know what the f she's doing, but does it anyway. Where is the birds? I'd like to see the birds. You can hear so many of them. It's like so many birds. I'm trying to get a bird. I mean, we're probably hearing like half a dozen different bird calls just right now. Oh, there's another bird right there. Oh, nope, that's a stick. Do you hear how many different bird calls? Isn't that awesome. So there's a bird on a tree. All right, great. I'm gonna try not to slow us down anymore. My apologies. Oh wait, oh wait. Oh man, there was a huge red cardinal. It's cool, a lot of these smaller birds are like really low to the ground. You know, they're like in these bushes. There's a bird in this tree. I have no idea what type of bird it is. Their bodies look like eggs. And then they got these two little black wings. They're very cute. It has like this red collar kind of. So I think they're warblers. It looks like it's a male and a female. One of them is like more brown. Or swallows maybe? Dude, this is awesome. Okay, at this rate, we're never gonna get to nine miles today. Oh, Sorry, bird? I was, I... Oh my God, that's a bald eagle's nest. That was so freaking cool. This hike is gorgeous. Being able to hear all these birds, see this like really varied terrain and be hiking so close to the shore. I mean, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna take a little snack break. We didn't see any dolphins, so Miranda's gonna do her best dolphin spray impression. Here we go, ready? <laughs> ar, 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 ar. Wait, it's a seal. <laughs> so we have three more miles to go. We came to a little like offshoot that should go to the shore. What? I've not seen something like this in a really long time. Look at that. Cool, I love shells. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There's just all these pieces of these massive shells. Well, we've made it to the shore. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes to just stick my feet in the water. And then yeah, we'll head back and we'll be wrapping up hike two. Yes! Uh, Huge shell! Ha <laughs> If you are not a winter sports person, or if you are trying to like snowbird in the winter, highly recommend coming to a place like Florida, because this is just like warming my soul to be like out in the sun. So I can't say enough good things about this. Look at these seashells! Oh my gosh! Wow, look at this one! Look at how many of them there are! This wraps up day two, hike number two. Our next hike is in Gainesville and the rest of them are inland. So that's a four hour drive from now. Let's wrap this up and then tomorrow is hike number three. Welcome to day three, hike number three. I am at Oleno State Park, about 30 minutes outside Gainesville, Florida. Today is our longest mileage yet. The trail we're doing today is called the Sink to Rise Trail. The trails here at Oleno go through a uh, river and a variety of like sinkholes. If you like sinkholes, you're gonna love this park. If you like sinkholes, you'll love the sinkhole hike. <laughs> Yeah, what is a sinkhole? What does it like look like? Because I'm not know. really sure. It should be really interesting, super different than what we saw yesterday and the day before. I really like how you're dressed like you're cosplaying a future cartoon version of the show. <laughs> so with that, let's go. Day three, hike number three starts now.
<laughs> You're like that kid that jumps in the elevator. I am! Okay, I'm pretty sure we want to go this way. Excellent. Oh, look at this. Saw Palmetto, anyone? I think basically what we're doing is we're like winding through the whole park and we're gonna like connect a variety of different trails. I'm walking and talking because we have so many miles to do. I have not that much time to do them. Let's Yo. go see some sinkholes. This body of water that's in front of me, that they call Ogden Lake, is actually a part of the river that runs underground. And as the water levels in the river change, so do the levels of this lake, because technically it's actually a part of the whole river that runs underground. And it seems like we're gonna see quite a few of these small pools along the rest of the hike today. Florida is weird. That is cool. Wow, oh my gosh, look at all this algae. I think this is, might be the sinkhole. We're gonna see if we can get a better view of it. So behind me is the river sink or the sinkhole where the Santa Fe River disappears underground. It's not actually gonna come up until another three miles away. But yeah, we've got a lot of mileage still to cover. So let's go. Okay, this is the Perriner's Branch Trail, which is our next section on this hike. So taking us away from the river for a little while. Did you hear that? That was like the loudest, deepest, most resonant woodpecker I've ever heard. We just heard it again. Just like that sort of like deep cut. Kind of... It's so cool. It's like, it's awesome. I just <laughs> love birds. What are you gonna do if you see an alligator? <laughs> I will run away from them because mm -hmm. they have four short legs and I have two long ones. And you're supposed to run in a zigzag, right? Yeah, alligator run rehearsal. <laughs> We've been hiking for a little over four miles now. I'm just trying to orient myself. We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> gonna hike out along the Sweetwater Trail for a little while. There should be a campsite over there. We're just gonna head over there, probably take a break, eat some food, and then come back here to complete the loop. Where in the heck are we? <laughs> it's just like totally opened up. We've got this really tall wheat or oat, the palms. This is awesome, completely different. Definitely feeling hot. Okay, here we go. We're gonna see if we can find a spot to sit and eat some lunch. We should be about the halfway point. This is it. Hello. Hi there. Okay, food time. In motion. For everyone who missed it. <laughs> don't put your, don't put your hands on it. Amanda formed her Go Macro Bar into this very poopy shaped log and now she's eating it but she's not a turd here by a lake and forest. So I just finished eating lunch here at Sweetwater Lake and Campground but before I go there's this creepy outhouse behind me that I want to show you. There's this dead plant which somehow is scary. It like looks like like a haunted house with spider webs stretched over it. And there's just like no way I'm going in that outhouse. Ah, it's a salamander. Nope. nope. <laughs> so that is the scary outhouse. Uh, we are about six miles from the trailhead. So I will see you again once we hook up with the Paranus Trail and finish this loop. What are you? What is this? This looks like like the drain in my shower, like when I get back from a backpacking trip and haven't showered in many days. Whatever it is, I hate it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Just ripped my map. I think we wanna go that way or that way. I'm assuming we go that way. I guess my vote would be that we go to the left. If I'm wrong, we'll come back and we'll go that way. Um, yeah, I feel confident in this. Anyone else's feet kind of getting tired? 
Miranda just asked us if anyone else's feet were tired uh, about 10 miles <laughs> into a hike. I don't want to just like make, I just want to be like, my feet hurt because that's annoying. Now, this whole conversation is less annoying than you just saying my feet hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another intersection. Oh God, damn it. okay. We're gonna go to the right here. So we're like almost back to the trailhead. Do we have time to race sticks? So stick racing is when you stand on a bridge and you drop your stick from the same height, you just drop it into the water on the opposite side of like where the water's flowing so that then the stick flows under the bridge and whoever's stick comes out on the other side of the bridge first wins the stick race. So we're gonna go from this side. Yeah. And you just hold it out and then you're gonna drop it, okay? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, no! One. Wow, you did! Hike number three is done. So we just got back to the trailhead. Today was the most mileage yet, and it is one of the longest hikes that I'm gonna do on this trip. So the weather today for this hike in Olena State Park was absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, tomorrow looks like thunderstorms. Not only that, we have two hikes to do tomorrow. I just got bit by something. What the Florida. <laughs> so with that, now that hike three is done, I am going to head back to the car and get back into Gainesville to get some dinner and rest for tomorrow because it is a big day. Hikes four and five in a thunderstorm. Here we go. Thank you. Boom. Good morning. It is day four. We are doing hikes four and five today. Right now it is pouring rain. The rain is actually stopping in about an hour or so, but then the wind advisory is gonna continue. Kind of having mixed feelings. On one hand, I'm really excited because I love thunderstorms, and on the other hand, I'm not excited because we have to hike in it. I am here at Payne's Prairie Preserve. So the hike that I'm doing this morning is about eight miles, and then the one this afternoon is a little bit shorter. I'm not feeling super psyched on the weather. Although I will say right now, it kind of feels like Seattle and that's sort of nice. Can't believe I'm saying that. This is supposed to be an amazing place to see like big wildlife and these wide expansive prairies. Are bison extinct? No. No. <laughs> okay, that has a question in. The plan is to hike to this observation tower, which should give us some really incredible views over this prairie. And then from there, we'll just interconnect a variety of different trails to reach our eight miles for this morning. Let's head into the prairie. Yeah. Probably this way, right? Yeah. So if it does start raining, uh, we'll definitely keep hiking as long as there's not like a risk of lightning or you know, getting hit by a falling branch or something. Gosh, I mean, it seems like it's, the sun is poking out. Although now that I've said that, I probably messed it up. What a neat tree. It's full of spider webs. <laughs> this is as far as I go. <laughs> so it says Jackson's Gap is that way. So yeah, we're gonna go on the Jackson's Gap Trail and then it's about another mile to the observation tower. This weather is marvelous. Gotta love it. Delayering, and we'll go. Great, to the observation tower, to observe. There are a bunch of wild turkeys over here. There's like a dozen. Okay, Florida. Okay. This thing's so cool. <laughs> oh yes, thank you. Oh, and look at these little frondy things growing out of the ground. Soon to be real plants. I just, do you know what I mean? You ever like love something so much your stomach hurts? <laughs> See how all the, the moss is growing on the branches of the trees? So cool, there's a wild horse in the prairie here. Wow, awesome. Oh my gosh, they're right here. Wow. I feel like looking out on prairie like this is not what I expected of Florida. I still just don't think I had any idea of how varied a lot of the Florida terrain is. Two days ago, yesterday, we're like on a beach and they're here. Very cool. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no. Where the buffalo roll and the buffalo roll. <laughs> 
Nice. Oh my gosh, the sunlight on this, like the green grass out there is absolutely beautiful. Wow, look. So we're going through this um, cattle gate. So this will take us into the wilderness area where we're basically gonna be ground level with all of the big wildlife. So we're gonna hike a couple miles in here. The wind is starting to pick up a ton. So we actually haven't had any rain, but definitely looks like we're gonna get the high wind warning that we were expecting. Windy! It looks like the trail gets totally washed out with water, probably from the flooding and the rain we had last night. I think that this is the end of the line on this trail. I'm really glad that we came further into the prairie though, because out here, it's like we can really get a sense of how vast this space is, you know? We have gone about like three and three quarters miles now, so I think it's probably a good spot for us to turn back around. But with that, I will see you all at the car and we'll go on to hike five after lunch. You're stuck in a poop. Sorry, I just noticed it. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's book it. Woo. Yay! Oh, boom! We are in the car after finishing hike four, which means that we are officially halfway done with this challenge. This is probably my favorite hike we've done yet. And I know I keep saying that after each hike, as we're getting farther south, we're getting for, like into areas that's, that are more and more unique than like what I'm used to. The hike after lunch is really short. It's only about like a mile and a half and it goes around a sinkhole. And after this, it is on to the Everglades. We're at Devil's Millhopper State Park. This hike's supposed to go around a sinkhole, and I think it's really short, like a mile and a quarter. So I'm not even carrying my backpack. Knocking this one out of the park. It should be very relaxed and flat, but also completely unique geographical feature. So I'm pretty psyched to see this. Oh yeah, so the sinkhole is that way. I think we're basically just doing like a loop around the sinkhole. Let's go see it. Yay, stairs. Wow, cool. It looks like it should smell. So this is the sinkhole here in front of me, which is on this like observation deck. We came down several flights of stairs. We're essentially like halfway down a hole in the ground. It kind of just looks like a pond, but if you look around us, you can see where the surface has collapsed inward, creating the sinkhole. It's kind of this like murky greenish watercolor. And then in like over a dozen spots around the sinkhole, you can see like small like waterfalls essentially where water is like rushing into the hole. So we're gonna head back up the stairs and out of here and then do that nature trail. And then we'll be done with hike number five. All right, if you have not done the oob game before, it is really fun and it's where you replace every vowel in a word with the word oob. So like, you know, the word pine would become like poob noob, for example. Wait, do the brand in the wild intro as an oob. What's up friends? I'm Moob Rubin Doob Woob Stuber and this is Moob Rubin Doob in the Woobled. <laughs> So I think this is a really awesome little hike if you're in Gainesville. Definitely super flat, easy, but beautiful. Oh, wow. I love interpretive signs. Yay. It's raining and the rain seeps down through the ground, like gets into the limestone, dissolves the limestone and creates these cavities. As these cavities get bigger, gets up to the surface where it's not as like structurally sound as the limestone. So the surface all collapse inward and then you have your sinkhole. Nature, what the f Okay, so we interrupt this uh, episode of Brain in the Wild to bring you some more Miranda trivia. Let's have a look at this word here. Miranda cannot say this word. It's not true. Uh, Miranda, would you please say that word for us? Ancient. 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 Okay, see, it's ancient. Ancient. No. Bring it down. Bring, bring it down. Bring it down. What's the first one? Ain. Ang. Ain. Ain. Shint. Shint. Yeah, ancient. 
ancient. <laughs> just got a K in there. So that just finished hike number five, which is our last hike in the Gainesville area. Which means we only have two hikes left, and both of them are down in Everglades National Park, which is near Miami. So we're leaving Gainesville, and tomorrow is a huge driving day. No hiking tomorrow, but then we have just two hikes left. So I will see you all on the road to Miami tomorrow. Hello! We are in the car on the way to Miami. We had like lots of plans to play road trip games. We've mostly just sort of slept. Oh, we haven't named the road trip vehicle. I don't know, does anybody have any suggestions for names? I was going to suggest Vanessa. Why Vanessa? Vanessa. Vanessa. Minivan I drove in high school was Minivan Morrison. Minivan, Minivan Morrison! Morrison! Oh, I love that! I guess we could just go with Helsing. Why Van Helsing? Van Helsing? Oh, is that the word? <laughs> <laughs> the known vampire hunter, Van Housen. <laughs> Hello, vampires. Yeah, I'm Van Housen. <laughs> All right, Raider. Darth Vander. It's so, no. I'm not feeling inspired by any of these suggestions, yeah, everybody. Um, if anybody has a better name for minivan than the bull that this car has come up with. <laughs> Vanley Kubrick. Vanley Kubrick! Kubrick! Done, that's it. Good old Vanley. All right, Vanley, take us to Miami. Welcome to the Everglades! Turn the camera, say something cool. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> this one is the Snake Bite Trail. We have entered the Everglades, which also means that we have entered mosquito territory. It is hot, it is buggy, and it's f***ing awesome. I know, I put my hands up, play my song, party in the Everglades. Party in the Everglades. <laughs> ow, ow, what the f***? There was a mosquito biting you on your elbow. Oh, they're everywhere! Where's the bug spray? Uh, Abby just came in with like a Mike Tyson level freaking hook to smack a mosquito off of Miranda's arm. I'm like a little impressed. Well, also thank you. Sorry, I yelled. <laughs> Got him though. Party Got of the him. Everglades. Oh my God, I just realized I stupidly left my medical kit in my other bag that had my deed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have the bug spray in your bag? No. Uh-oh. We have made a grave error. We've arrived in one of the swampiest parts of the country in the heat, and we didn't bring bug spray. So uh, do as we say, not as we do, and if you come here, bring bug spray. <sighs> Fucking skeets. Ow. Up. This is really bad. One just bit me through my f***ing shirt. Oh, f and look at this one. You see that? It's getting bit on the face. No, that's great. Ah! I am mad at myself for not bringing mosquito spray. I'm mad at myself for not like thinking about insect repellent. And it sucks to also be like less than a mile and a half into a what six mile hike and be like, shit. Okay, with that, let's go check out Snake Bite because it's supposed to be awesome. So I'm gonna see it and appreciate it, dang it. And we'll come back here and turn off for Rowdy Bend. Mosquitoes, GTFO. Wow, look at these plants growing on this tree. Oh man, I feel like I, because we're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, I'm not like properly appreciating how cool this is. Look at these, they're like air plants. Yeah, muddy, muddy. Wow. So we just got to Snake Bite Overlook. The trail wasn't particularly impressive, I'm sorry to say, but the view here at the Overlook is absolutely gorgeous. And there are all of these mangrove trees, this kind of like swampy gray clay is down here underneath the Overlook. And there's a whole variety of different grasses and bushes and plants growing. And oh, look. I love the sounds of the birds. I love hearing like one of them would be like, the other one would be like, wah, 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 wah. it's like great. I don't know what any of them are. So I think I like the blue squawky one because I feel like it had a lot of attitude. It's like a very pretty bird. Black legs, yellow feet, the blue squawky bird, the white here, that's called the tri-colored heron. Tri-colored wow. heron, snowy egret. Oh, right, with the yellow feet? Yep. Oh, cool. 
Okay, so I just left the snake bite observation deck and I had planned on going back on the Rowdy Bend Trail to complete the loop that was mentioned in the article. But while I was at the observation point, I talked to two people who've been coming to Florida for 30 years and they gave me a hot tip on the best place to go to see alligators. So I am not gonna finish off the Rowdy Bend Loop. I'm just gonna head back to the trailhead and then I'm gonna take you all to the best spot in the Everglades to see some gators. We're going to take the park road out towards the visitor center, but just before we'll exit is where the Anhinga Trail and the Gumbo Limbo Trail are. And that was the recommendation for the best spot in the park to see alligators. The hike out on Anhinga, I think is really short. I think it's like less than a mile round trip. Woo! F yeah. F yeah. So many f alligators. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just got to the Anhinga Trailhead. This is a super popular trail within the Everglades. Hold on, I have a wedgie. Hold on. Okay, we're good. So fingers crossed that we will get at least one alligator here in Florida, because I've yet to see one, and as far as I'm concerned, they're not real. <laughs> so let's go see some gators. <laughs> right. Oh, you guys want stickers? There are any sticks around? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dang it! I, mean, I thought I had you! Man! Oh my gosh, there's an alligator. Gators are real. You can see it's like bodies in the water. Its head's kind of tucked behind this bush here, but yes. There is this incredible bird presenting itself for us over here. You look so good. You look really good. I don't know if that's why you're presenting yourself to us or posing, but if it is, you are doing a really good job. And if it's that you're trying to intimidate us, we're very scared of you. Whatever you're looking to do, you're doing a really good job. This is actually really gorgeous, this trail. So we're finishing up the loop on the boardwalks of the Anhinga Trail. Tomorrow is our last hike of the seven hikes in seven days challenge and it is our longest hike yet. I'll see you all tomorrow morning for hike number seven. Ah! The last hike in our seven hikes in seven days Florida trip. Welcome to the last hike, hike number seven. This is the biggest hike yet. So after starting in Pensacola and then covering the whole state of Florida, we finally wound up here for the last hike and the final day of this seven day journey. So I am gonna get started hiking. That was really awkward. I've been talking a lot for seven days, so. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna miss it. I'm feeling sad. I just really like this plant and I don't want to leave the tree. That's all. I know we're going to come back and see it later, but then I'm never ever going to see it ever again. I'm <laughs> sad. So we're getting to the really muddy, wet section of the trail. This is kind of what I was expecting when the ranger mentioned that it might get wet out here is just this kind of like mud clay stuff but uh we'll see if it gets much worse than this yeah it definitely got worse if it were not hot outside it would be a really really bad idea but i'm not worried about my shoes not drying so trail runners and i brought extra socks love walking in wet shoes we've gone half a mile so only five and a half more to go before we turn around <laughs> my shoe came untied i was gonna tie and retie it but i'm standing in Hold my body. Okay, I gotta tie my shoe. I need this arm. Okay, just yeah, hold yeah. my, just hold my whole body. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we've gone 0.6 of a mile. I do think that it's gonna open up a little bit, and I think that we should get once we get to the coast. I don't think it's gonna be like this. So it's just a matter of getting through it. I say that like I know that that's gonna happen for certain. I just feel in my bones that it won't be like this forever. All right, coastal prairie, here we go. Sand fleas, you nasty bitches. Yeah, I think they're air plants. So this is, I think an air plant. It's a type of succulent 
Uh, this one just fell on the ground, but there's a ton of them growing in these trees. A cool tropical plant. <laughs> Spiders everywhere. I need like a stick. I think I'm conducting like the quietest orchestra. has mostly been going through these mangrove trees behind me, which is like what the Everglades is known for, mangroves. It has taken us about an hour and 42 minutes to go three miles. So that's um, pretty slow, but it's also like a similar pace to I think what it would be if we were you know, going uphill. This is just totally flat and essentially a swamp. Three more miles to Clubhouse Beach, let's do it. Chelsea is tying my shoe because it keeps coming untied. And she has a theory that when she ties it, it will not come untied. So we're testing it. That feels good, thank you. Oh, you pulled it so tight. <laughs> Look! <gasps> we just came out of these mangroves and there's this like lake, pond, inlet, marsh, marsh. And there's five snowy egrets. This moment is worth the slog that it's been to get here. All right, it's already one o'clock. We, at this rate, are not gonna be done with this hike till seven. So let's go. <laughs> All right, onward. We must move fast. It's gonna be late by the time we get back. Ow! I am over this. <laughs> These bushes are cutting my legs to garbage. This might work actually. Woo! Yeah! Oh my gosh. the crew soldiering through we do this for your entertainment yeah, i'm doing this for you all and because i want to see the freaking beach whoa mother mosquito just came out of nowhere i don't think this is the beach but it's definitely opening up for a little bit it's just Yes, it's hard and it's funny because it's totally flat. And I think because I'm coming from Washington, my idea of like what hard is means like, you know, if it's a lot of elevation gain, then it's hard. Walking through water is hard physically. Walking in mud is hard physically. Not wearing pants, which was totally my fault. I knew this trail was not maintained and I still didn't do it. That's like hard physically and emotionally. Plus I woke up having just like a bunch of anxiety this morning anyway. So while in a lot of ways being out here it's helping a lot. It's also just really easy to feel like anxious or nervous or feel bad. I don't know how much further, but it can't be that much. I think we need to go a little further this way. Is this the beach? Can we make it? Dude, this is something else. You see these hornets nests? Well, that's just what we need right now. Some hornets. This hike hasn't been hard enough. I feel like really go for some hornets. The beach is like right over there. Oh, trail marker. Yeah, I think so. See the buoys to the left? Oh yeah. Should be pretty close, right? I can see it. I can see the ocean. You can? Yeah. All right, so we saw some buoys back uh, like 20 feet or so. And so we've turned off and I think that we're now headed straight for the shore. We can hear boats. It's just like through a field of these scratchy bushes. But uh, I'm also really freaking psyched to see the beach. Came this far, I'm not gonna stop now. Well, f <sighs> yep. F We're like feet from Clubhouse Beach. I mean, it's totally flooded. We. <laughs> I'm f I'm f oh, it's okay. It's okay. We're really close, but uh, I don't think we can go any further. This water is super deep, and it's actually moving really quickly. I don't think it's safe or smart to cross. I feel kind of stupid, feel a little bit frustrated, and I'm bummed. Yeah, now it's just like, okay, we have another six miles 
of hiking back out through what we just came through, which was honestly brutal. All right, let's eat because uh, this we all right, we have to turn around now. Okay, so hike number seven ended with a little bit of a disappointment. I was definitely expecting this really incredible view of Clubhouse Beach, but instead I got within 300 feet of it and couldn't cross the water. I'm just tired. I'm just eh, and a little mad. <laughs> ah! Let me just get it out for a second. Let me just be angry for a second. Yeah. Mother f stupid beach! What is wrong with you? What is, why are these bushes so aggressive? Ah! Okay, I'm done. Honestly, I'm pretty bummed. And I know that that might sound shitty to say, like I got to be outside and do this hike today and I'm like about it, but I am. I was really stoked to see Clubhouse Beach and I am gonna go to a beach. I am staying in Miami, so there's probably a beach that will work. Now this is a beach. I mean, look at this place. Look, there's a sunset behind me. There's sand. There's water that isn't covering the trail. I mean, this is like the perfect place to finish the video. Seven days ago, I started this whole video trying to do these seven day hikes in seven days through the entire state of Florida. It gave me an opportunity to see lots of different state parks, just all of this stuff that is completely foreign to me and also just covered a huge variety of terrain. The stuff that I got to see here was really beautiful, really different and unique. But yeah, I'm tired. My legs hurt and I'm sunburned. Oh my God, this is the longest video we've ever filmed. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a cocktail and hang out and like enjoy Miami now. I've just seen all of Florida in one week, the entire state, all of it. I don't wanna hear from you, Tampa. Sorry, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so if you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the REI channel and my channel, the Miranda in the Wild channel. And that's it for me. So I will see you all in the wild. Bye. Beach time. Yeah. On the road again. I'll see you on the road again. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, for this is for all those people that call me cringy. You're welcome. I wanted that to look cooler than it probably oh, did. Definitely cool. Great. All right, let's go.